What's up guys, Chris here. In this video, we're gonna talk about achieving goals and if you're married, make sure you ask your wife what are your goals before you continue. It's Monday and the week has started, but do you just start planning your tasks and goals for the week today? You should have started yesterday or last week or last month for that matter. Let me tell you how I do it. First, get yourself a physical notepad or use a digital form I use Google Notes, write what you wanna achieve for the whole year. Yeah, I know it seems like a lot, but hear me out. Write all the things you want to accomplish for say 2021. You can even do it now. It doesn't have to be January. Structure the goals timeline. For example, goal number four can only be done after you achieve goal number one. So you can start doing it before you finish goal number one. Then divide the tasks by the months remaining of the year. And now, divide each month into weeks and now divide those weeks into days and write down what are you going to do each day of which particular week i personally have a schedule that goes by week number we are in week 33 out of 52 right now now i know some goals will change some things will fall off the goal list but some may be added to it so no worries but make sure you have something written down so you can keep track of your progress and keep you in line. What most people do. In January, they say they will lose, say, 30 pounds and they have 12 months to do so. So they haven't been to the gym yet because there's still four months more to go, right? So they leave everything till the last moment. And what happens in December? Everyone is rushing to do what they were thinking of doing the whole year. Why do you think the biggest discounts for vehicles are in December? Or any other merchandise for that matter? Then you see how the gyms are getting filled in the end of December to mid-January and then they're empty again by February. So this strategy is for the big ticket goals, the big ticket items per se. Second, small tasks and goals. For example, filling my ATM machines with cash or servicing the coin pushers or the claw machines. You cannot really put a yearly goal on that. Every night at 10.30, I have 30 minutes to organize my tomorrow. I write at what time I have to be where or what I have to do. Do I reach my goals every day? Hell no. Sometimes things take way longer than expected from which I've learned to devote more time for different tasks. And those tasks I call unexpected situations. For example, I went to cash out a claw machine, which turned out that it has a problem with the claw that took me 30 extra minutes to fix. So whatever I don't do today, I make sure it is on the first thing to do on the next day just don't rely on that too much because you end up with a lot of tasks for tomorrow and that tomorrow where you finish everything will never come because now you're overwhelmed by tasks and third very important thing is for you to smash the like button if you haven't done already and if you have thank you very much for doing so so the third thing is leave some time for yourself even if it's just sitting outside or taking a walk or what have you no electronics, no TikToks, no Tinder, unless she has a big butt. Just you relaxing and decompressing in silence. At least that works for me. I usually go out on the porch and just stare at the stars, look around and some ideas come into my head and how more efficiently to do certain tasks come, come to mind. And yeah, that, at least that works for me. So I hope you have a productive week. Thank you very much for your time for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time.